this wherever how far he has brought me and um, it's pause for a minute hello hello this is the general announcement that all student loan payments okay student loan all right uh, let's let's pick it up from there student loan was dis distracting my video um, Mujevale, Mujevale, Mujevale. My name is Bane Kibuka and welcome to another episode of the Ugandan Ball Talk Show. Welcome once again to the Ugandan Boy Talk Show uh, with your boy Bane Kibuka. Uh, welcome for another episode and uh, today is a special day that I, I get to um, celebrate my one year anniversary. Uh, so I'm so excited to record this episode uh, to celebrate my uh, one year anniversary uh, podcasting and recording this podcast for the Ugandan Boy Talk Show. Now, this podcast started as uh, something out of uh, the pandemic, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm so glad that I'm, I'm still going with this. So I'm so excited. And today, today's episode is dedicated for that, uh, just celebrating uh, the one year anniversary. And we're going to share. A little bit about the background, how I got it started, and how we've been doing, and where we are at this point. Um, but before I go into that, I'm going to apologize. First of all, I think my office is empty. You notice everything is gone. Uh, I'm in the middle of moving. Yeah, we're moving uh, out of this place, and we will move into another place. So that's what's happening. Uh, the other thing is... Uh, I don't know how my sound is going to turn out because actually the room sounds really um, empty because I took most of the stuff out. So the noise is really loud. So if my sound is not good on this time, you're going to have to forgive me. Uh, but uh, on the 12th of November, which is a Friday, uh, yesterday, uh, we celebrated one year anniversary and i want to thank each one of you that has been supportive has been part of this the ugandan boy talk show uh, you don't know how much like this it brings me joy and i've multiple times i've mentioned on the podcast that this is a therapy for me you know we all go through different things in life and we find different ways of getting happiness and keeping ourselves happy and we do different different things to to motivate us and for me it's the podcast like what we moved at right now we don't really have a lot of people uh right now i'm just recording my podcast facing into the my window the bigger window and all i have there is trees so every time i get to sit on this podcast to record an episode to record a podcast with especially with the guests that i've been hosting you know uh, it's been a blessing it's been a blessing because i feel like i'm talking to somebody else, you know, like to the friends, you know, like seeing somebody on the screen of my computer has helped me like a therapy to just have something going on. And um, yeah, that's that's one thing that I, I really liked to do this and learning more about other people. You know, we all have friends. We have friends in life, but you don't even know what uh, they're going through or what their life was or where they've been. To get to where they are and that's one thing that i've learned through hosting these people and that's the reason why i wanted to bring these guests um more so to that is to share their stories some of these people have gone through different things that us like us young people are, are going through like when i hosted pasta bugembe and later on i'm gonna sh share some of the highlights from the episodes of the guests that i've brought to just kind of sum up um our anniversary to just hear some of these uh, highlights of the episodes. So, like when I hosted Pastor Bugembe, he was here and he shared his his life story, like what he has been through. And those are some of the things that I want other people to listen to, and they feel motivated. So that's one of the impact of the reasons why I started to do this uh, podcast, and I'm so excited that I've been sticking to it uh, all year and. Uh, I know it's been like two weeks since I released a new episode. My last episode was with Naka Kande. Uh, no, my last episode was with um, Sharon Chiyimba Promise, who is a model in Uganda. And uh, she was sharing about her journey. And she was somebody recommended 
by one of the guests that I hosted on the podcast. So we were privileged to to host her, one of the youngest models in Uganda, and she was on here to share her story. Also, you see some highlights f- from that. So, yeah. So basically, that that's the reason why I started this podcast. I wanted uh, my fellow friends in Uganda to hear these stories. Some of these stories are empowering. And just motivating people. Some people feel down, but when they listen to a story, at least for me, that's that's the reason why I like listening to people's stories and learning something from them. And that's why uh, I decided to to start this podcast to to bring these stories to you people so you can enjoy them. Um, so, but anyways, how is everybody doing? Uh, I hope you all are doing great. Uh, this year is almost over. You know, it's almost over. Uh, next thing you're gonna know, we're in December, and then January comes 2022. We all ready for that? Anyway, yeah. So 2022, uh, we'll have a lot of uh, stuff coming on. But to go in depth in the background of this podcast, uh, it wasn't the pandemic. Everybody remember the pandemic? Um, we really didn't have a lot going on. Everybody was locked down in the houses, and we were all thinking. And I think. Actually, I think in the pandemic, that's when I got into podcasts because I started listening to a lot of podcasts. I love sports. So I was into a lot of like sports podcasts and these uh, uh, soccer, NBA, everybody was doing a podcast. And I was like, that's really cool. And I love listening to stories. And that's when I landed to a story of uh, a girl named, or I should call her lady, uh, Edith Nygaga, who started a podcast to just talk about uh, her journey from Uganda to America and originally her podcast was Uganda to America but she then changed it to Voices of Dembe. I listened to her story and I felt like oh yeah this is something I could do. I love I love her story and it was empowering. She shares a lot of things that motivates girls and uh, if you're dealing with mental health she talks about her own experience and I've actually hosted her on this podcast twice so if you want to hear her story and something about her, you can go check it out in the older episodes. Um, Edith Naigaga, she comes on here to talk about her life. And then we talk about mental health and her experience. So, yeah, I listened to her story and I was like, this is something I would do. I like it. I like it. And uh, I started off. I was like, I'm going to tell my stories. And the first three, four episodes, I, intro- I introduced myself, talk about where I was born, where I'm from, and um, I started talking about my journey from Uganda to America. I talked about that in actually two episodes because that story is pretty long, and uh, people showed a lot of love for that episode. Basically, I just break down every steps that I did uh, walking from Uganda to America, how the adjustment was, and after I did that, I was like, you know what? I'm going to run out of stories. (laughs) I'm going to run out of stories talking about myself. So I was like, I'm going to start bringing some guests. Cause I thought like, you know, other people might also have the same kind of life, like same stories. And it was a cool idea to just bring in other people to share their stories. So over the year, I brought different people. I brought musicians. I brought, um, I brought comedians. I brought different people. Like even the, not like people on Omuntu Wawansi, the law income people or multiple ones from the low yeah class people you know some people but they have stories they have things they're proud of they have things they've gone through and things we can learn from them and some of them my friends and some of them have been my family so that podcast how that's how it's been evolving like anybody with a story i don't take anybody i don't ignore anybody um so I believe everybody's story can empower somebody in some way. So I'm not like, I, I won't host this person. I won't host this person. I've been inviting everybody who wants to, and even reaching out to the people who I want to, to come on the podcast to, to share their stories. And we've achieved a lot of stuff. And uh, throughout the year, I'll, I'll share the statistics that we've, we've achieved. Um, we have about a 2.5 thousand uh, listeners on all our podcast uh, platforms that is uh, uh, Spotify that is uh, uh, Apple Apple podcast that is uh, Google podcast and all the podcast platforms like people who listen to this uh, audio uh, they've been over 
2.5 thousand and then we have about 3,000 followers on all social media platforms that's a very big number you know 3,000 people that are just behind my back and like bunny go bunny go uh, we love these episodes and I've been privileged to just listen to people's uh feedback about the podcast people have been impacted people have learned things about other people that they didn't really know you know and that that motivates me that keeps me going and that's why i do what i do uh, we've published over fifty thousand. Ep- no <laughs> we've published over 50 episodes like more than 50 episodes and uh, we have about 500 subscribers in youtube we're growing and we have room for improvement and we want to learn we want to be better so we are on that journey but i'm privileged to have that number and i believe my podcast has been listened to to over 60 countries around the world so that's a big number i'm thankful for that i thank god for this wherever how far he has brought me and um it's paused for a minute Hello? Hello. This is a general announcement that all student loan payments... Okay, student loan. All right. Uh, let's, let's pick it up from there. Student loan was dis- distracting my video. Um, but yeah, I want to thank each one of you. I couldn't have done this by myself. Uh, I, I, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And all the people told me, Bunny, we like your consistency. Like you've tried. And uh, yeah, some of the days I've not been able to, to produce episodes but then there are some days where i produced like twice a week when i had time so that can cover up to the weekends that i've missed but uh yeah we've grown and we're still growing i'm i'm pro- i'm planning to still go with this uh, podcast and continue sharing these stories because i believe they're going to empower a lot of people um so now i'm going to play for you some of the highlights of these uh podcasts that i've had i'm going to play just the top 10 a few minutes of each one of these so you can hear some of the guests what they had to say when i hosted them uh, on my podcast one of the biggest challenges actually my biggest challenge growing up in uganda you know when you're growing up in uganda of course there is school it's mm-hmm. inevitable mm-hmm. okay it, it's not something everyone gets but it's something that is there so you obviously have to go to school whether you like it or not Right. So when I left, when I was still at home, when I was still in day school, it had a very small effect on me. Actually, I didn't even feel anything. You'd go to school, make your friends, what, and at 4 p.m. you get back home and you'll hear the same things from mom. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you're so intelligent. Oh, you're so lovely. You're the nicest kid ever. And then you have all those great statements in your head and you know, I can do this. I can do it. I'm beautiful. I'm intelligent. Um, you know, mm-hmm. but all hell broke loose. That was around <laughs> 20, um, 2011 when I joined boarding school for the first time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I joined boarding school in 2011. I was in P6. Uh, my mom had to do law, so she had to put us in boarding school. It was my worst nightmare. Like, uh, I started to hear things that were contradicting what my mom used to tell me. Right. And at a certain point, I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. Did mommy mean what she ever said? <laughs> So kids would tell you, you're so skinny, you're so ugly, you're too dark, you're (laughs) this, you're that. And in my head, so when all those statements like gather up in in your head, it started affecting my grades. And when it affected my grades, of course, that was also brought in into the statements. And they would tell you, you're very stupid. Mm -hmm. Your, Your grades are not even that good and stuff. So thinking about all that stuff I, I i started to take it in i started to believe it so mm-hmm. i think that's one of the biggest challenges because it didn't stop there mm-hmm. going to secondary school it actually became worse mm-hmm. i had to leave a school the school i went to for form one it was too much there was a lot of bullying there was a lot of body shaming to a point that i would come to class and my name has been written on the board as the ugliest kid in form one and I lost it. I had to leave the school. So I think that's my biggest challenge growing up in Uganda. I want to say this to especially the girls in Uganda. Please try as much as you can to stay in school. 
there is the saying, I'm going to say it in Luganda, uh, this thing is true. Once you, once you mature and you grow up, you realize that it's true. So if you have a chance to go to school, if your parents can still afford to take you through school, please, please get those papers, go and study. Don't go around with boys. The boys, they will, they will come chasing you later on when you have your degrees and you know PhDs and all. And listen, you will, I'm not gonna say you won't need them, but at least you will have secured your education, right? So education first, then everything else follows. That's it. Nice mic drop. <laughs> yeah. Boom. What has been your life lesson? Like what's something that I in life that you've learned? Just one. Yeah, you can give me two. Maybe I always have one like a season for like a season, but it keeps changing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think right now I would say, you know, no point to prove. Okay. I would say stay out of competition and comparison. And, uh, you know, uh, comparison is the thief of true joy. You know, I, I got a nice phone here, but uh, it was nice until Jocelyn came with her phone. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I want to hide it. We think we great ministry reaching out. And then somebody says, have you heard about the other church and the other pastor? Those guys have more land. They have more more followers, they have more, uh, the pastor is, and, and before you know it, the true joy you had, the testimony is dying and withering off simply because you are starting to compare the wash house with another church. Mm -hmm. So comparison yeah. is the thief of true joy. So I'm learning to stay out of competition. I, competition, I wrote a song about it, who cares? Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Obanga to na fumbi like eh no competition ya kuka days oli muto like you know That's, people want to keep comparing. What are some of the hardships that you went through living in a slum? It's hard, like you yeah, the word slum. Uh, when it rains, mm -hmm. water floods in the houses. Yeah. Means when you're sleeping, you have to wake up and collect water from the house so you can get a place where you can sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother she used to mop offices in town. Each, each office she mopped. She was given 1,000 Ugandan shillings. Hmm. She collected that money and took me to school. Her dream was to see me graduate, which came, came to pass. I must say, like, there was always an advantage, you know, yeah. when you're here than someone who's back home. So the, I think what matters most is what you used with that advantage. Um, I'm not, my family's not the only one who's uh, stick to asylum and they've gone abroad. Right. Well, I know a lot of people who are in, um, in the United States, some in Canada, mm -hmm. a lot of people. And I must say, I'm not really impressed with everyone what they're doing with their lives. Right. Although I'm, I don't care. Everyone has what they do with their lives. But I'm still not impressed because from, from my experience, what we go through down there or what we went through, someone would have really had the knowledge to try and do something okay. different with their lives. Right. Um, trying to see how they can help people back home instead of just uh feeling like you've reached heaven and you just want to mm -hmm. like boast up and have all the swag you want swag can always wait but find yeah. something to do i came to the u.s october 1996 mm -hmm. and i was 15 at the time my mom pulled me in, in a public school and it was it was tough it was, you know, it was a big transition, like just, you know, coming, you know, just being an African kid, you know, with an accent, you know, new environment, not knowing anyone. The, the jokes were always on me because, you know, the way I used to dress, mm -hmm. you know, and I got like, it was tough. It was tough, you know, having like, because for the first time in my life, I actually like other kids, that were actually bullying me. I remember sitting one day in my hostel room, in my small hostel room, and I made a decision that the only way to help someone else like me is to, is to come out, is to first accept my status and never be afraid. And I shouldn't really continue hiding 
anymore because even my friends at campus they didn't know about my status mm -hmm. so you get a balloon you blow it up then you cover it with a cavera then you make your own bow and we used to call them tangos Tango. yeah. speaking, yeah, to have of that that, tango. <laughs> speaking of that i have yeah. a, mm -hmm. talking about banana fibers so i have my exactly, soccer ball here. That's the bow. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have my soccer balls. For those of yes, you who are watching us yes. on YouTube, I keep this and I showed it. I had a episode that I did with one of my friends from Liberia. So I was mm. explaining to him how we made these soccer balls. So you talked about banana fibers, and this is what yeah. we used to do. So it was yeah. it was cold, and I was wearing my Ugandan kanzu, like you remember? Mm -hmm. like yeah. Night. But they didn't have a costume. I was like, I'll just go like a Ugandan man or something. Like that. Yeah, yeah. I'll never forget that now because that was the first time I met you, mm -hmm. and uh, it was you and and David, and and so I'm seeing everybody's costumes, and then I see you and David over there, and I'm like, for some reason, I don't feel like that's just a costume. Like that, <laughs> they actually wear that somewhere else in the world, you know, and <laughs> end up getting to talk to you guys and find out you're from Uganda, and I contested for Miss Nkumba. Mm -hmm. From there, I said for Miss Uganda. From Miss Uganda, I went in for Miss Ambas. I went for Miss All Central Universities. I went in for uh, Uganda's model. Like every competition, I used to go for it. Okay. Sometimes I, I couldn't win. And then they would write about me. Doreen is always <laughs> contesting, but she's not winning. She's not winning. But I said, hey, I don't care. I'm just going to continue. I'm mm -hmm. just going to continue with this. I know one day I will win. And right now, guess what? Mm -hmm. I have the crown for, for Miss Uganda World International. Yeah, uh, that's about some of the, the highlights, but there's a lot of more uh, episodes on the podcast, which you should go check it out. Check them out, all of them. And listen, there's a lot of information. This is just a, a highlight of the lots of things that we have. Um, so continue supporting us and continue showing us love and I'm going to bring more guests. Uh, right now we're working something we're working on something with uh, Martha Mokisa. Uh, mo those of you who know the song Sango Kangamao Sango. Yeah, Martha Mokisa she'll be on the show soon. Um I think Justin Nabosa who was recommended by Pastor Wilson Bogembe and then we're going to have uh, Joram who was recommended by uh, Miss Uganda. And then we're going to have APERS on the podcast. Uh, we have a lot of people that are coming up. So the second year, we're studying in gear. Um, after I'm done with all this moving, settled in, um, we'll pick it up where we, we've ended, where we ended at. But um, it shouldn't take me so long. Once I settle up, uh, we'll be back up. So I want to thank everybody tuning in, listening, and supporting. And uh, my ultimate goal is to just keep going. That's my goal. Just keep going. Just keep doing what I'm doing and uh, bring in more people. Keep the stories going and impacting other people. So here we are for year two. So I want to thank each one of you uh, for supporting me, for being on my back. Continue supporting me. Continue listening to this podcast. And don't forget to leave a feedback on this podcast. Um, you can go on Apple Podcasts and give us a five-star review because this is how this podcast grow by subscribing and by leaving feedback so don't forget to do that for me and continue supporting me promoting me we're gonna also do more merchandise so if you're interested in that hit me up on my social media about the march and then i'll hook you up um anything else you want to know follow us on our social media and we on facebook instagram twitter uh, YouTube, so follow us there and share with a friend. Continue promoting this podcast. And without further ado, thank you very much and stay blessed. Hey there, I am Bonnie Kibuka, the host of the Uganda Boy Talk Show. Thanks for watching my video and don't forget to hit subscribe and share with a friend. Tune in every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time for a new episode of our podcast. And for more information about this podcast, Follow me on my Instagram page, talk underscore show underscore 256.